Hello, welcome back to Final Fantasy VI. My name is Usser. If you didn't see my last set, uh, my time at Sandrock stream, you might have missed out. I took a boat here to South Figaro. Met a guy named Jared. Um, he was trying to break into Figaro Castle, and he's using a group of uh, thieves who were in prison there to get into uh, Figaro Castle. So we just gotta go through this cave, and we'll be there. I got my butt kicked by Funbaba, I got my butt kicked by the boss that's in Figaro Castle. It did not go well. So we goes through South Figaro Cave. It's a little different now, the, the normal entrance has changed. And the thieves show you, with some food, how to get the turtle to move. Because you can't go out the other direction. Unfortunately, they also came through before me, and they took all the treasure, and they're going to the treasure room in Figaro to come through here. And, aha, we are in the Figaro dungeons. Everybody's kind of knocked out. You really come on rails, but you get to see an area of the castle that you don't normally get to. I've already got the treasure here because, like I said, I did this during my live stream. Got my butt kicked by the boss, so I went and leveled up. And I'm hoping that I don't have to do much to beat it now. Because these guys are way harder than I remember when I played it. They are doing so much life drain on you. Okay, we're going to heal up and do a quick save. That's Jared there. These are his thieves. He's the boss of the gang now. So this is the problem. Got its tentacles all tangled up in the engine. Boss, what should we do? The treasure's in the storeroom back there. I'll keep this thing busy. You guys go get the treasure. Boss, that's awfully dangerous. Just get moving. Edgar! What are you standing around for, Celis? Give me a hand. Edgar, it is you! He kept denying that it was him and was trying to play it off like, hey, no, I'm I'm not Edgar. I'm this Jared guy. I just look exactly like him and talk exactly like him. Alright, we're gonna try Razor Gale. The new one I got. Um, all of these things have an elemental weakness. The bottom right one is weak to fire, and I want it dead first. Let's hope this doesn't heal anything. Nice. No. So that's the perfect one to use to AoE this thing to death. Now I can use fire as soon as I kill it off. Take that one out next. Oh my god. Yes! I got him. It went much better. Much better. That That's how hard I remember it being. Like, you'd have to do one, maybe two heals in the fight. Not, oh my god, we're dying constantly. Acting like you didn't know me. Heard Figaro would run into some kind of trouble. Wanted to help, but how was I supposed to get here with the castle stuck beneath the sand? Then I caught wind of the rumor that those guys had escaped from the dungeon. So you used them. Bingo. Obviously, I couldn't let them find out I was the king of Figaro. Because they'd just escaped from your own jail. Could have told us. Yeah. Uh-oh. We'd better hide. Boss? Boss? Monster must have gotten him. Poor boss. Didn't even last as long as the last boss. Okay. Let's go. Oh well, let's go. Yeah. Cares, we got our treasure. You don't care if they take that treasure? I couldn't care less about treasure. What we need to worry about is Kefka. Those guys haven't done anything wrong. Not really. They will come along? Let's go shake things up again. 
Yeah, um, why were they in prison if they didn't really do anything wrong? And I need to antidote Edgar, and now we're ready. So, here's the treasure room. As you can see, they got it all except the Soul Saber. Soul Saber is kind of a cool sword, but it, it really only works if you've got your hit points damaged. Then when you attack, however much you attack, that's how much you heal. If you got full hit points, it doesn't do anything because you can't heal yourself. And we're here. Hi. The engine's working again. Next stop, the surface. Yes, um, the problem being that the surface of Figaro is still in the desert. But it is not connected to anything anymore. I can show you what I mean on the map. I need to go check to see if there's any tools. Of course, my face is in the way of the map. But... Uh, yeah, you can't quite see it. It is it is isolated. It's ringed in by mountains, so being here is n it does really nothing for you. Moving on, we've got Edgar in the party, and he changed back into his normal clothes. Luckily, this still works. Like, the world's been changed, but not that much. It's been changed a lot, but... We can still use the castle to get over here. That'll be kind of a moot point. We can find an airship. Ah, we come over here. To Kolingan. That looks like a Darsh soldier. Darsh is crawling with monsters. I have nowhere to go now. I lost my home. Yeah. And there's Setzer. So you survived. Come with us. We're going after Kefka. Just don't have the drive to do that kind of stuff anymore. What are you talking about? I'm a gambler. My world has always been one where a man's spirit could soar free. Not anymore. I feel like the weight of this world is crushing me. It's just too much to bear. On top of that, I've even lost my wings. Just depressed. Yeah, I don't blame you. Fought with all your heart before the world was ruined. That couldn't have been easy either, but you seem to bear that just fine. Actually, I don't know if he did because I never used him. I'm just not a, his biggest fan. That was then. All my dreams are gone now. If you need a dream to chase after, then why don't you find yourself a new one? Like taking back our world. You know, maybe you're right. You'd chase after it with me then, my new dream? Thanks. Now I think it's time to play, pay a visit to Daryl's tomb. She's waiting for us with a new pair of wings. Well, that's where Daryl's tomb's at. Apparently she's got an airship for us, and we're gonna go find it. Okay. Yeah. We'll save it. This is my first real save for a while, because I've been doing quick saves inside a dungeon. So... This is your friend's grave? Yes, yeah, she was really something. The world could turn inside out, and she'd never even flinch. Could be anything lurking down here, so keep your eyes peeled. Yeah. Yeah, especially because there's a uh, thing down here called the Experience Egg that we're going to get, which gives you double XP while you wear it. Uh, I don't know the words to carve on the tombstone yet, so we are going to look around. I can't remember the order I have to do this in. Need to raise the water level. Uh-oh. 
And these guys are undead. Ah, good. Flash is effective. Fire is super effective in here. Ah. And you're going to need some holy waters on hand because they are going to do zombie on you. Luckily, they drop holy waters. Aha! What do we got here? A switch! Throw the lever! We've raised the water level. A Genji Helm. That thing is pretty awesome. Uh, let me do it on... Yes, he's just got the Crystal Helm. Genji Helm. Way better defense and magic defense. Just through the roof. Um... Oh, we're actually going to give him the royal crown, though. Crystal mail. I think I did this in the wrong order. No, I did not. You have to do that to open the door. Aha! I might have done this in the right order. Okay. Players have been carved here. And they look like gibberish. They, they aren't. Um, it's just, it spells something out backwards. Now, if we carve that thing on the stone, it tells us about and unlocks access to the uh, the EXP egg. Uh, boink, boink, boink. Nope, that that was backwards. Okay, the world is square. Is what it says backwards. I have hidden the growth egg in the side room on the third basement level. So they call it the growth egg in this one. And I believe you are barred from looking for it until you do that. Like you can see it, but you're not allowed access to the pathway. Aha! Now we can access it. I'm just going to go ahead and give it to... Oh, let's give it to Celis for now. Alright. Now we can... Whoops. Go back to that room with the... The big room with the turtle that's drained. And we can fill it. And then be on our way. Actually, no. Alright. Into the big room. If I remember correctly... Yes, that fills. We have to do it in this order, otherwise you can't flip the lever and open this door. Okay, I gotta save it first, because I can't remember which one of these is a mini-boss. Now one of these two is a mini-boss, and, and I thought it was this one. I'm glad I saved it. It's very similar to that wealth battle at the beginning of the game. trying to be careful because he will go into his shell and he does a different AoE attack than they did at the beginning of the game. It looks like he's weak to fire because Sabin hit him hard. So we'll wait for him and Sabin will hit him. I don't want to hit the shell. Oh he does it anyway? He, he just does it anyway. That's that's fine. Gonna gamble a little bit in that I can get off a second attack with seven. Hey, oh, that didn't hardly hurt at all. Nice! Nice! Crit! 
it is definitely worth fighting that mini boss. 2000 gil. You get the. I got two dragon claws? Whoa! Hold the phone. Wow! That that should not have happened. I'm gonna do the dragon claws and the burning fist. So I have fire and um holy attack. Oh, he's going to absolutely destroy stuff when he attacks now. The Maneater, which is a very good weapon, actually. I'm going to give it to uh, Edgar, just because, like I said, I'm getting rid of Setzer at the first opportunity. Setzer can use it, and it's a damn fine weapon for him. Okay, um... No, I'm fine. I'm healed up. Now, here lies Daryl. Huh? There's something here. A Dullahan. Oh yeah! Chocobo attack! Oh! Right off the bat we get hit hard. Um... Drill him. Attack. And we are going to have to heal. Holy smokes! Oh yeah! Ouch. This fight is not starting well. Blizzaga. Yikes. Why, why does that keep missing? Oh, I wish it didn't. <gasps> no! She's my healer! I can't... Oh, good. Do something useful, Setzer. And, oh... Oh, it's going so bad, guys. It's going so bad. Let's hope he ignores Sabin. Really? Really? That just happened. Okay! Okay, so Setzer, you are on heal duty now. Sabin and uh, Edgar can attack. This guy's hitting hard. Okay, we finally got our health back up. Holy smokes, he is hitting so hard. Okay, I need to use. Oh, never mind, he's dead. I was gonna say, I need to use a high either on Celis, otherwise, I don't got no healing. But that takes care of this dungeon. Now that guy is not near as important to fight as that monster in a box is. Ooh, ooh, just uh, to be on the safe side. We're full. Cool. <laughs> I could see myself getting into a random fight before this scene starts. Being here brings back all kinds of memories. Yeah, there's no monsters in this area. Next test flight could be dangerous. What are you trying to prove by pushing your ship to its limits? It's pointless. Watch your step! The worst should happen. Take care of the Falcon for me. You can't be serious. When I take the Falcon from you, it'll be because I left you a mile behind in a race. Till then, I'm not letting you out of my sight. Ah, good luck with that. Zooming around. I wonder how they set up, like, the path for their race. Because it doesn't seem like they're doing anything by rhyme or reason. They're just...
Mary is laughing. Really nothing like flying. How long do you plan on hanging back there? Aren't you going to try to pass me? Or are you too entranced by my wiggling rudder? Huh? Whoa! She took off on you. And that will be what our new airship looks like. Incredible. Alright, it's time to get serious. I'm gonna break the records. I'll fly above the clouds and see the stars closer than anyone ever has before. Be back by sunset. I'll be waiting for you on our hill. Poor guy. It was a year later when I found the wreck of the Falcon in a distant valley. I restored the ship and then it put it to rest down here. This is the Falcon. Can't very well be the world's fastest pilot if I can't even fly. I need your help, Falcon. Oh, cool. Nice effects on that water. And now we're drenched. Luckily we're in an airship and the wind will kind of dry us off. This, I think we might have a chance. Now we'll be able to get up to the top of Kefka's Tower. If we land up there, we should be able to get inside to launch our assault. We'll be able to look for the rest of our friends. Right, first things first. Finally, it's starting to feel like we have some hope. A bird! A bird, could it be? Carrier pigeon? Setzer, follow that pigeon! Why? I'm not sure, but something inside tells me it'll lead us to our friends. Boy, you're not pushing the ship very hard, Setzer. That's okay. We are here. Oh, man. We're gonna save it, and we will find, start finding our friends, I should say, because we've got a lot of finding to do in the next one. I should be able to finally take down Fudmaba now that I have four people. Um... I'm also going to grab the character that you find out about in here. But that will be all. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can see when I post new things. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Catch you on the next one. Bye!